murder me, daddy. Yeah. But don't. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Arsenic and Espresso. I am Alice Arsenic, this is my co-host Josh, and this is a podcast where we sometimes drink coffee, but we always talk about metal music. Kind of. Kind of. What? Um. So you have brought up like a while back, you're like, we should probably react to Corpse or Corpse Husband. I think Corpse, Corpse Husband. I think Corpse is the musical, like the, the artist name, and then Corpse Husband is his YouTube. Identity? Was, yeah. Let's find out. So Corpse Husband, also known as Corpse, is an American internet personality and musician. Okay. Who is best known for his faceless work on YouTube. Gotcha. I don't know a lot about the music that he does. I did watch him play Among Us with like Dr. Lupo and AOC one time. I think That's that was the cool. time. Yeah. That's super um, cool. So, and I know everybody loves his voice. He's mm-hmm. got like a super deep voice and everything. And like you said, he doesn't show his face on YouTube. So. Okay. That's kind of neat. He does a lot of, so he does a lot of like let's play and horror story narration, but he also does music. And if you've watched this channel before, we've talked a lot about how TikTok is kind of where it's at right now. And Mm. um, several of Corpse's songs have like snippets that have gone viral on TikTok. So he was already a huge influencer, especially among Gen Z. Mm. But TikTok has definitely like skyrocketed some of his music and one of his songs um, just hit a hundred million plays on Spotify and outside of the clip on TikTok I've never actually heard the whole song okay that's that's a pretty big deal um I I can honestly say I I'm not familiar I, yeah. I don't even like you you've said that this clip has gone viral yeah. on uh, TikTok I'm sure once I hear it I'll be like okay I've heard this it's before. used in like sexy TikToks Okay. Yeah, when people are being naughty. Okay. Yeah. So anyways. So anyways, today we're going to dive right into Corpse Husband. And it's more of like an electronic. Right. Sound. I don't know how you would describe his genre of music. Is it kind of like skinned? Like. Uh, A little more like club sounding. Okay. Like a little more EDM, a little more club. I feel like there's definitely like some cell dweller inspiration okay. in his stuff. So it's still like a, a metal adjacent sound? Yes, totally. Because to- uh, it's very alternative. Okay. It is not it is not mainstream EDM. Yeah. If that if there's even a mainstream EDM. It, I know that like the main focus of this channel is like metal music and everything. Yeah. But we do like to talk about the stuff that kind of surrounds or Yeah. Well, I definitely think it. Corpse is a person who would be a bridge okay into heavier metal okay uh bands okay well i know finn mckinty's talked about him a handful of times so he can't be too off the he's not far off the, the radar at all i'm excited for you to hear okay. this like i said i've only heard the the like 30 second clip that's used on tiktok frequently from this song e-girls are gonna kill me or e-girls something or other what is it i don't know let me see are gonna be the death of me oh e-girls are ruining my life about the same 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 difference all right Ready, Freddy. Ready? Choke me like you hate me, but you love me. Low key, wanna date me when you fuck me. Touch me with the lights off and my chains off. You're gonna be looking at her the whole time. Maybe. Maybe. She wait on. She a freak, low bad hoke. Okay, I've definitely heard this song before. Or I like, told you. Okay. Yeah. 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 And so people use, I don't, like, they use it in, in their, like, thirst trap TikToks. Makes I sense. Feel. Makes sense. I also don't know who Savage Gasp is. So obviously there's a lot of like hip hop influence here, but yeah. do you see what I'm saying with like Cell Dweller? Yeah. Yeah, it's like it's on like the trap core side of Yeah, stuff. like yeah. like a little industrial, a yeah. little like a little EDM, but not a ton. Yeah, it's like it's hip hop that the scene kids can bob their head to. Like that's basically what it is. Yes. Yeah. I don't know if you want to find saying Look 
like that bass on like mm -hmm. super loud speakers mm -hmm. so great. I guess this is savage. savage yeah. I feel like such an old person. <laughs> I'm like What's the meme? savage G A dollar sign P. Like I feel like such an old person Him listening. Him and ASAP Rocky must be friends, right? Because they have the- Maybe they are the dollar sign. Kesha the, did it first, I'm just saying. Oh, Kesha right. also did TikTok first, and nobody's talking about that. Kesha did a lot of things first. Yeah, she did. Most of them I think she's proud of. Yes, free Kesha. I think she is free. Free Britney now. Moving on. This is the punk hit past king with the corpse with the ring. And she fucked my best friend if I die here today. Okay, I just paused it right at the drop. Um, but so far, I feel like uh, lyrically, it's um, like uh, internet culture meets hot topic, um, <laughs> which makes sense. Yes. Oh right? my gosh. Totally. Totally. It's also only a minute and 45 seconds, and we've stopped it like a hundred times. That's okay. I know I've said it before, but that's one of the reasons I don't like a lot of like more mainstream music is like the songs are just getting shorter and shorter yeah. and shorter. And a minute yeah. and 45 seconds is stupid like that's not it's not it's not even two minutes long yeah it's built it's built for tiktok it is um, totally built for tiktok which i mean whether whether that was his intention or not with it like that's that's the the kind of style the song is definitely built for, for sure. the tiktok stuff i've said that i mean we've had so many conversations about that especially with like the the newer like hip-hop generation um talking about how like most of those songs are like a minute and a half two minutes yeah. long um, it's kind of ridiculous. I mean, I think, um, who was it? Uh, Kanye West. I can't remember what album he put out. One of his recent. Um, yeah, like just in the last couple of years. Yeah. But he he did it specifically to try to still hit album status. So like there's a specific requirement for like number of tracks that you need and total length of the, the album to be considered an album so that you can still get like awards for it and stuff. Versus like an EP. Versus an EP, okay. yeah. And he did it specifically to like just hit barely within the time limit. And wasn't like the average song on that album like a minute? Yeah, it's like a minute and a half or something. Yeah. yeah. Um, which is ridiculous. Um, I mean, I just it, would think you'd want to vibe a little longer than a minute and thirty seconds to something. That's my thought too. Like, but like, I, I don't know. know. We're old. <laughs> <laughs> um, I get it, though. I get it. I, get, I totally get the song, you know. But also, is 100 million plays really that big of a deal when the song is not even two minutes long? There's, there are YouTube ads that are longer. True. I'm just True. saying. No hate. True. So what you're telling me is that length might matter? A little. A little bit. So E-Girls Are Ruining My Life by Corpse Husband and Savage Gasp. Choke me like you hate me, but you love me. Low key want to date me. When you fuck me, touch me with the lights off and my chains on. Baby, I'm not the right one. You should wait on. She's a freak. Lil. You got this. I'm <laughs> too white to be saying these things. She's a freak. Lil bad hoe. Uh, Gaspar told me, kill it. I said, let me grab my death note. She pulled me in like a lasso, saying that she know me. I don't even know her, though. Ain't no daddy issues, then I won't even bother. She say, I kill her cat. I'm like Luca Magnata. Real bad bitch, pussy bald like Daytama. They used to hate me. Now they want me, bitch. I feel like I'm Gara. I feel like I need to look up some, who some of these people are. Girl, you fucking with the wrong one. Fuck his team. Fuck your click, bitch. I'm on one. Fuck your stream. Fuck your clip. And... You ain't saw one. Got your bitch on my dick like she want one. She got death notes, dead souls, split eye, chain cold. I think I fell in love when she said grab me by the neck, though. All through the night, colder than ice. Man, I swear these goth girls really want to fuck up my life. 
bat wing fly like the moon in the sky. She just looking through my soul with those Shinigami eyes. Poke in my nose and blade on her thigh. Man, I think this girl is really trying to plan my demise. It's the pumpkin patch king with the corpse with the ring. And she would fuck my best friend if I died here today. Choke me like you hate me, but you love me. Loki, want to date me when you fuck me. Touch me with the lights off and my chains on. Baby, I'm not the right one you should wait on. Rhyming is hard for me, apparently. <laughs> uh, I think they... Um... I think he captured the whole like the the title's a good name for the song. Yeah. It, it does. Well, that. I mean, not to dive too far deep into it, but it it speaks to that culture that that like that normalizing of some less than vanilla mm -hmm. behaviors mm -hmm. with sexual partners. I feel like that came up a lot when like 50 shades of gray came out and mm -hmm your average couple was like, well, we get a little freaky too. And like that has only like compounded and compounded and like gotten more intense. And some of it's like really intense. Mm -hmm. uh, and I feel like that's touching on that. It's touching on the fact that, cause like, I mean, you see on the internet people like when they're, when they're like posting on someone's thirst trap. So like someone posts, like I'm going to say it from a heterosexual females perspective, like, you're looking at this picture of a guy, he's, like, shirtless, he's fine, you're, like, dang, and, like, you post your little comment, and you're, like, I have never done this, I'm just saying this is, like, <laughs> this is what is sometimes True happening. True confessions. Um, is that people are, like, like, yes, daddy, like, murder me. Oh, right, right, right. And, like, murder me, daddy. Yeah. But don't. Uh, And then you also tie in, like, the... Like the obsession with like serial killers and stuff and yeah satire of like the whole culture yeah. yes yeah, yeah yeah anyway gen z you guys are intense you Goth feel girls lots of are crazy thank you that song hit a hundred million listens on spotify and now we've listened to it all the way through as well i know we might have to listen to it like three more times just to like really feel like we listened to a whole song so, i feel like yes you know yeah but no it does remind me i think something um Along the same sort of style and line is um go is it Ghost Main? Yeah, I think so. Ghost Main. Um, I've heard of that. Very similar, like trap core kind of style. Um, it's a very interesting genre. Mm -hmm. This like kind of hip hop, kind of metal, kind of yeah. kind of like EDM. Mm -hmm. And I feel like everyone had an older brother who listened to a lot of Cell Dweller. I think you're right. Do you know what I mean? I think like, you're right. Um, I I can't quite get into it as like an everyday play sort of. Yeah. listen um but i can appreciate the music so it's just it's a very interesting i feel like this is how like we're seeing the evolution happen right now of music like yeah. we're seeing the change um happening yeah because like music like this is so it is such a conglomerate of so many different styles mm -hmm. I'm interested to see like where it's going to bleed into more. Is it going to yeah. go more into the hip hop scene? Is it going to go more into like the underground metal scene? Like where, mm -hmm. where does this lead to? Or is it even just more so like the, that the mainstream has kind of caught onto hip hop and the trap core side of things because of the shorter styled, like mm -hmm. TikTok styled yeah. genre. So if you guys want metalcore to not die, um, maybe we need to have some like one minute metalcore songs. Um, I think that's a terrible idea, but I, I mean, if a it, terrible idea. the people want it, I guess, sell What out. do you prefer? Do you prefer short songs? Do you prefer long songs? I've said before, I'm a five to seven minute song kind of gal. That's what I prefer. If it's less than five minutes, I feel like I missed out on something. Um, and then if it's more than like seven minutes, I feel like I have to be in the right headspace to listen For sure. that long. For sure. But that's like an ideal time frame or like length of time rather. I yeah. don't know. What do you prefer? Anyway, thank you so much for watching this weird video. Um, if you are interested in following us on any of our other social medias, everything is linked down in the description box below. Like we said before, you can check out our merch shop. There's mugs and stickers, among other things. Anyway, that was very short. Was. We're still going to make this a 15-minute video. Cue outro. Outro.